Greetings from Zimbabwe. This is Patrick Mavros and hello to all of you Falcon family out there. I just want to tell you a little story that took place in uh, 1969. Form 4C Falcon College history lesson. But before I tell you that, I've got to tell you about my streaming. I, I was always in an A stream. I, I must let you know that. Standard 1A, Standard 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A. And that's because my mum, Boo Mavros, was uh, the head of the Terence P uh, Parents Teachers Association. So she made sure. But the minute I went out to the bush and went to a boarding school, I slipped B stream and thereafter a slippery slide straight into the sea where I did well and stayed for the rest of my time. Now, in that class, Form 4C, with characters uh, of the year, but not in the C stream, Joe Whaley, Michael Condy, Dave Potts, all sorts of uh, illustrious figures. In that year, our history lessons were taken by Dwali Ford, the big Englishman. The big, tall Englishman with the tweed jacket, all worn around the edges, used to carry his books and ponderously walk down the road, deaf as a post, deaf, like with, with a little bit of buzzard too. Anyway, he'd walk into the classroom and say, good afternoon class, today I have my new hearing device. Let's test it, good afternoon. And we'd all say, hmm. And it was a big piece of equipment that lived in his pocket and he turned it up. Good afternoon, class. Let me try that one more time. Until it was whining. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon. So it's ah. And Dwally would tear it out of his head. Anyway, the classes went on and Dwally loved, loved making charts. He had huge, complicated charts, year charts. Battle of Agincourt, 1066, the Battle of Hastings, written ponderously. And quite boring, really. And I sat at the back of the class and the interleading wall led on to another class. Just behind was an English class. And in that classroom was David Hunt, a very sprightly, short, strong Englishman who had just been halfway around the world, found his bride in India, in Darjeeling, on a very famous tea estate, this beautiful lady, brought her out to Falcon College. And David was a... His, his, his nickname was Dwart, which was, I don't know why, onomatopoeic for the, the horse, uh, hawk dropping or something. But anyway... He was very dramatic, very enthusiastic, loved drama, loved theater. Why, man, he doth bestride the world, he would say. On that side, we'd hear him through the wall. Dwali, our history teacher, couldn't hear him, deaf as a post. So I started to dig a hole through the wall. Dwali would be up there making his charts, and I started with a pair of dividers. And the walls were built of mine dump dust bricks, very dusty, very fragile. And it took me three days to dig the hole. And when it got a little bit too deep for my dividers, I tied a piece of string on my divider, and threw them, tugged them out. And one day a crack appeared on the wall of the inside of the other classroom. And David Hunt saw this crack appear and then another little thud and enlarged. And I threw again. Boom! And my divider shot straight through, straight through the plasters on the string onto the other side of the wall. Then quickly <whistles> pulled them through again. And the dividers disappeared. And David Hunt walked up on his side of the classroom, walked there, looked down, got down on his knees. All right. And I, to see my handiwork, got down on my knees. And I looked at the hole and it was full of dust, the hole this side. So I stuck my mouth up against it. And as David Hunt, unbeknown to me, was looking at this mysterious tunnel, I blew and a blast of white wind up, mind up dust hit David in the eye. And he came, looked like he had a ping pong ball, came dashing through to our classroom, shouting. 
and screaming about who had done this to his eye, who wasn't paying it. And Dwali Ford got obedient, said, out of my class. He said, you must knock on the door before you come into this class. He said, my, my pupils are all working very hard. And he kicked David Hunt out the class. Anyway, it wasn't long before I was sent before Sari Murray, E.J. Murray, none other than to uh, account for my actions and had to bend for a quick three of the best with the cane. Anyway, to all of you out there, love from Zimbabwe. Hope you're all well. Come back to Falcon and look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you.